guys, it's Ashley and today I will be dyeing my hair today. As you can see, my hair color is growing out. I need to do my roots first and then I'm gonna be doing little rainbow peekaboos in my hair since it's Pride Month and why not I do that? I always wanted to do rainbow hair but I don't want it to be like my whole head be rainbow because I just feel like a little too out there for me like just color wise like I don't want it that bright you know I just kind of want it more subtle so yeah I am going to be using arctic fox I bought all the rainbow colors that I didn't have I already had purple and orange um, but I didn't have the other colors so I bought the red yellow and green and blue um, and so yeah we're gonna get started by bleaching these roots first like growing out a bit even the color is coming out on the bleach part I always stick to this brand and then this is the matching developer and yeah I know you're not supposed to use 30 on roots but for me I have to use 30 because if I don't it doesn't lighten at all or it just turns this really gross orange color um, so yeah I've been using this for years Well, the scoop Gloves, obviously, rubber bands, clips to separate my hair, and then the brush. Oh, like, kind of where the ear is. Oh, yeah, and I also have this, like, mini side shave. My hairdresser wanted to do that. I'll just leave this like this because that's the one I'm gonna start on first. So, looking kind of crazy here, but it helps to separate it. So I just washed the bleach out. It looks a little yellow in the camera than what it really is. It's not that that yellow. Um, so I'm going to be doing a toner because this is a little too brassy. Too much brass is happening so yeah. I also did bring down the bleach a bit to like certain areas where I want like the rainbow peekaboos to turn out. Voila. Color Charm T18. It's really good for like that brassy orangey hair and then 20 volume developer. Also from Sally. One part toner and two parts developer. Alrighty, so I know my hair has like multiple of colors. It's because my purple was a blue based and when the bleach goes on it, it turns green. But that doesn't matter because color is going to go over it anyway i'm going to do purple the same purple that i had as like a root and then i'll blend it into the rainbow colors i will be using all of arctic fox's colors so i already had this pre-mixed it's a very dark purple so i basically used um arctic fox purple rain and then i mix it in with their black which is like a blue based black to make it a little bit darker and I add conditioner too so it comes out to like a really like kind of like a blue based blue based like a violet you know I have wrath for the red I have sunset orange I've had this color in my hair before when I did sunset hair it was it was so good I loved it and then I have cosmic sunshine and then iris green and then poison for the blue which i also had this in my hair like my whole head i really like this blue and then i have purple rain that i'm gonna do by itself for the purple so yeah let's just get started it's gonna take a long time so <laughs> let's just get into it build up to the top
Okay, so it's been a little over an hour and I'm gonna wash it out because I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out, I think it should, honestly. But yeah, it's gonna be fun to wash this out. Um, rinsing with cold water. Anytime you have multiple colors, you want to rinse it with cold water <laughs> uh, because if you do it with warm or hot water, the colors will bleed. Um, so yeah, let's just um, see what the final result is. So this is how my hair turned out. came out exactly how I wanted it, very subtle. So like if I just have my hair down, you can't really see it. It's not too much, but like if I turn my head or like you can you know see the rainbow peekaboo or like if I go like this you can see it so if I have my hair up you know you could see it a little bit but I am obsessed like the rainbows came out really vibrant um, I did not dilute the rainbow color by the way I, I just it's just direct dye from Arctic Fox but yeah, it came out so much better than I expected <laughs> and it took me, like the whole process, it took like 5 hours because I had to bleach my hair, do the color remover, tone it and I took a short break in between I ate lunch and then that did my hair which took like about almost 2 hours and then letting it sit for a little over an hour and so that, that was like five hours but yeah I'm obsessed with it like look at that rainbow peekaboo like oh obsessed yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh found it helpful if you plan to dye your hair rainbow colors or peekaboo colors uh happy pride if you're lgbtq uh, if you're an ally that supports us, always be yourself and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.